The first handicap of the meeting is the longest handicap of the meeting. And it's the two and a half mile class five. And it's a naught to 70, I think. That's naught to 80. All right, top we've got Easter Sunday for Nick Driver, Super Six. Martin Leedon, Velvet Monkey, James Shea, Maundy Thursday for Nick Driver, Captain Morgan, Matt Cooper, Mumbles Pier, Alex Cherry and Spinning McGarry for Jamie Hopkins, field of seven. It's a chance for one of the lower trainers to get himself a win, but James Shea's already won two, and this is only race five, so away we go. And Velvet Monkey was in the lead, but has now been overtaken by Captain Morgan down on this near side. So Captain Morgan then pulling for its head, refusing to settle. Jockey's trying to restrain it, but it's not having any of it and it's gone four clear. So Captain Morgan then clearing the lead for Matt Cooper, probably by five now, to Super Six in second. And Maundy Thursday, uh, that's White Easter Sunday. They're virtually one in the line, with the exception of this leader. Who, if he goes any faster, will be the only one in the picture. And yes, he is. No, not quite. Nearly. Anyways, Captain Morgan. Is he going to be the only one shot at any point? Yes, I think he is now. You just see a foot from the others. But anyway, it's Captain Morgan who's going to pass the stands with a clear lead. They're allowed to bowl along in front. Nothing seems too concerned about letting him get too far ahead. Velvet Monkey is in second. And Super Six and Monday, Thursday, Easter Sunday is next. Then Mumbles Pier and Spinning McGarry. I wonder why Star Deli isn't in this. I should expect to see Star Deli in. Anyway, Captain Morgan's in the lead. From Velvet Monkey second. Then Monday, Thursday, and Super Six. Easter Sunday after that one, oh, and Mumbles Pier, and finally Spinning McGarry is the back marker, so they're quite well strung out, and they're going to come down past the King George start now, and Captain Morgan, and it's clear by five lengths to Velvet Monkey, who's clear of the third place, horse by four, the two Nick Driver horses are sharing third, Maundy Thursday and Easter Sunday, Nick Driver back in the Commentator's box after a gap of about five or six seasons, I think. Just did the one race last week to get himself back into it, but he'll be taking you through the majority of day three, including the final races at Royal Ascot. So, big welcome back to Nick. Captain Morgan is in the lead. That doesn't mean to say I'm going to be satisfied if one of these two horses beat mine in this, though, but. Still welcome back to Nick. Anyway, Captain Morgan's in the lead from Velvet Monkey second. Easter Sunday is third. Super Six is fourth. And then Maundy Thursdays after that one. And Mumbles Pierce spinning. McGarry has been pulled up at the back, so there's obviously something amiss with that one. And Captain Morgan continuing the lead. A good two and a half lengths or so to Velvet Monkey. I want to give James Shea a third winner on the day. So he took the Queen Anne and the Coventry. And Easter Sunday is after that one. And with Super Six on the outside, gap of five lengths, then back to Monday, Thursday is now under a bit of pressure. And so to his Mumbles Pier, so it might be worth concentrating on the front four at this point. And Captain Morgan still leading by two. But now Velvet Monkey getting a bit closer in second on the outside. Super Six just being scrubbed along, so too Easter Sunday, the top weight. Get them back to Maundy Thursday. And it's Captain Morgan, who's kicked on again in the lead. With just over three to go. And has extended the lead again to five lengths. So it's Super Six, who's just about second ahead of Easter Sunday and Velvet Monkey. Then Maundy Thursday and Mumbles Pira starting to run on again from the back. So two furlongs to go and Captain Morgan continuing the lead. Now Super Six gets into overdrive in second. In third place is Velvet Monkey. Then Maundy Thursday on the outside. Easter Sunday suddenly the one who's looking beaten. But Captain Morgan does not like he's stopping at the moment. Super Six and Velvet Monkey trying to close. There's a furlong to go and Super Six is trying hard to 
goes Captain Morgan, but Captain Morgan is holding on at the moment. Half a furlong to go. Captain Morgan, here comes Velvet Monkey, and then Super Six. Captain Morgan's hanging on, and Captain Morgan's going to take it. Captain Morgan wins it close for second. Super Six and Velvet Monkey in Mumbles Pier was after that one, and Captain Morgan just went out in the lead and stayed there. Must have been, I did not see that happening when that horse went that far clear at the beginning of this race. I thought he would tire and then catch him up. But a good piece of training there by Matt Cooper. Is that what he had in mind all the way through the first few weeks of the season? I don't know, but Captain Morgan hasn't looked that good so far. Captain Morgan for Matt Cooper takes it. Super 6 for Martin Lillian was 2nd. Velvet Monkey James Shea 3rd. Maudie Thursday was 4th for Nick Driver. And Mumbles Pier was 5th for Alex Cherry.